Okay, welcome everybody to September's Genomi Club brought to you by Genomi Australia. Today we are going to be talking sewing leather and tricky fabrics, thick fabrics, so vinyls, leathers, cork, all of those sorts of things. I'm going to talk a little bit about needles and the different needles that you would choose and also a selection of different feet that we've got. And the demonstration today will be on the HD roller foot. It is a foot that is available for high shank machines. And today I am sewing on the HD9, which is our semi-industrial, I think we call it, straight stitch machine. So it's a flatbed, straight stitch only, um, high speed um, machine with lots of sort of guts in behind it so that it um, is great for all your, um, you know, um, heavier duty things, so upholstery, um, bag making, all of those sorts of um, applications that you would have. So let's go over to the other camera and we're going to have a look at what we're talking about today. So the um, project that was last month for the accessory of the month is a leather purse and those details are available um, to download the project um, on our inspirations page on our website. So it's genomi.com.au and I send you there every month <laughs> and you can go there. Um, and also if you've got any um, uh, requests for topics for us to cover, um, please um, jump onto the website and uh, click the contact us page and you can send us an email with um, topics or feet information that you um, would like to see in the Genomi Club. So today we are talking about our HD roller foot, which is this lovely foot here. And it has a, um, it attaches to the shank of your machine and has this roller that um, rolls across the work and your needle sits basically right next to this roller. So it gives you full access to the needle to be able to um, do tight circles and um, top stitching and those sorts of things. Like all our um, blister pack feet, it does come with a little um, instruction guide that shows you about attaching the foot, how to adjust the foot, some setting ideas depending on what you're sewing and that information is comes with the foot. The other thing we're going to look at today is the actual needles that you would use if you're sewing items such as leather. So we're going to zoom in here and I don't know how much you'll be able to see it on the camera, but you can always go into your local Genomi stockist and ask to actually see the needles and they'll get some out of a packet for you. And I we'll have here on the left, we have a regular sharp needle. And on the right here, I have a leather needle. So I don't know how much you can see, but right down the bottom, um, and if you get a chance to look at these in store or you might have some leather needles at home, down the bottom, it's almost got like a little corkscrew sort of blade that actually cuts um, through the leather to create the hole for your thread then to go through. So if you're looking at um, these close up, you'll, you'll notice the main difference is right down the bottom, just under the eye. And as I said, it almost looks like a bit of a, yeah, I call it a corkscrew. It's not quite, but it's like a little blade on the end of the foot. So you can get the needles in a um, Genomi branded package. You get size 11, 14 and 16, or we also do the organ brand in 14s and 16s. So those will be available at your local Genomi stockist. Now, if you don't want to use um, or don't have the HD roller foot, some of the other feet that you could use is the ultra glide foot. I have here the ultra glide foot for the HD9, what I'm saying on now. And also this is a regular nine mil um, ultra glide foot that you can buy. So there are other options that you've got for um, leather work. So to attach this machine, I need to take off my regular shank of my, of my machine. And this foot does come with a um, extra screw, like it's a longer screw than the normal um, shank screw that's there. So we need to attach it similar to you would a walking foot or your actual shank on your machine. So it hooks on and then we tighten up 
and I'll go ahead and screen. So we've got that set up. There are two screws at the back of the foot, um, which does allow you to adjust where the um, roller is sitting in relation to your needle and the instructions for setting that are in the blister pack so that you make sure that the um, little roller part of the foot is sitting right next to the needle. Now, once this foot is attached to utilise um, threading of your machine, there is a little button at the back and it's like a little screw, but it's actually a button as well. So you can push down on that little button and it actually releases your roller so that you can push that out of the way to utilize for full access to your needle area for threading your needle or for placing um, fabrics and things behind there. And then that will just swing back into place and click there. So I'm going to be stitching on, I'm going to show you first of all, we've got um, just one layer of leather. Now this is um, called veggie tanned leather. It's um, a type of tanning process. Um, I think it's a cow, this one is leather. But we've also done it on um, different vinyls, um, textured vinyls um, that you can pick up at most sewing stores. Um, we've used it with the high gloss vinyls, with the matte um, and cork as well is the other one that I often use this foot with. So if we're just doing just one layer of um, fabric, so I'm just going to set my foot down. The other side. And the other side, yes. So I'm just holding on to my tails of thread because I am starting right on the edge of my um, work here. And you can see there that um, I just stopped with my needle down. I don't know how much you can sort of see in, but mm -hmm. there's like probably one millimeter gap in between where my needle is and the edge of this roller. So you just need to have it close there, but obviously not so it's hitting. So depending on your machine, this is where you've got the adjusting screws at the back and you can move the roller left or right. So we would just stitch through. We can do turns. very easy. Probably the only um, thing with this foot is you do want to be careful to make sure your fingers aren't right in close to uh, where the needle is because there is nothing sort of like around the needle. There's nothing um, protecting your little fingers there. So this is not a foot that I would give to children to sew on. <laughs> um, it is definitely a more advanced um, foot that you would utilize. So this is um, similar to the little project that you um, that we have on the inspirations page. I've cut some. Which camera yeah, on? yeah, I've cut some um, different um, coloured leathers, and generally you would then just pop a little bit of glue and glue them down into place. Um, for leather, it just does make it easier because you can't really pin. If I put a pin through the leather, it does um, pierce it and create a hole. So if you are pinning, just you have to make sure that you're pinning either in your seam allowance or the other thing um, I use is the little like wonder clips or the little fabric clips when you want to hold it together or you can buy the little magnetic clips um, if you want to hold things together. But I just find a little bit of glue works really well. I'm going to bring up my needle thread. I'm um, sorry, my bobbin thread just so I've got that on top. My needle. So to stitch these little flowers on, I'm just going to um, stitch out. You can do um, if you have a um, machine with decorative um, stitches. This is not a foot for decorative stitching. Um, it is just for straight stitch. If you want to do a decorative stitch, I would recommend then the Ultra Glide feet because you can do then a decorative stitch on your levers and vinyls. I'm just stitching out um, and back in to create like the um, little stamen, whatever they are, the little bits of the of the um, uh, flowers. So that's through two layers there. Snip those off. 
So then we've got um, then our two layers of leather. And over here, I'm going to stitch around um, one of the little centers of the flower. So I've got my base leather, second, third, this is a fourth layer. So I've now got four layers of leather. And this is what I like about this foot is that I can get in really nice and close. I've set my needle in, my foot down, and I can then um, see exactly where I'm stitching. My needle in the down position, and I can move around this little shape. Oops, I just came off the edge there. Let's just move over. Okay. I'm just um, holding my, um, raising my foot every stitch or so because this is a very tight circle that I'm working around. And it allows us to go get it in there. The very little circle. So you do have to just do a, a little stitch at a time. But you can see my machine is just going through those multiple layers. One more when we're back round. So then we've stitched through the four layers of leather there. The other place where this foot is really handy is for inserting zippers or piping. So I've got um, the other half of the um, pouch here. I've already put the zipper in on one side. So I'm going to place these layers together and I'm going to clip. Of foot pressure, I've got this on about a one for this um, for the HD nine only because um, I do have those multiple layers of leather. So um, it just would depend on your machine, but yes, generally I would probably reduce the foot pressure off a little bit, um, especially if you're doing multiple layers. And I also have, I've got a um, size um, 16 needle in because I'm also working with a 30 weight thread. Like it's quite a thick, I don't know if you can sort of see here, I've got, is that in camera? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the white thread in my bobbin is just your regular um, Rosant sewing thread. And then you can see the pink is a thicker thread. That's a 30 weight, um, this quilting thread that I've got. Generally, if I was stitching this zipper in, this is when I would change to a construction thread, but I'm just going to do it all in one so that um, I have to keep threading the machine for you. And again, because I'm starting on the edge of my work, I'm holding onto my tails so they don't get pulled down. And we're going to start stitching here. I'm just putting my needle down. Now, just to get over this initial little lump, I'm just going to lift my foot up so that I can get down there. If you've got a little stylus, you can get in with your little stylus to hold down in here. Um, obviously, don't put your fingers in too close. Just going to open up my zipper so that the little zipper end is out of the way. Okay. And we just take our clips out as we go. So through this. Just taking my clips off as I go and holding this. So you can see I'm holding in front of the um, zipper, but I don't have my finger going anywhere near. Back to this one. Yeah, maybe to that one. You don't, I don't want to put my finger too close to where that um, right in here where the needle is. I'm actually holding at the front, um, sort of in front of the needle, but I'm not never letting my finger go in close to where. So I'm sort of like, and then I'll stop here. So then I can move my finger back again. Nearly done across here. With this um, HD roller foot, 
you don't actually have like a seam allowance. So um, depending on what you're sewing, you may need to um, mark a seam allowance. So when you're actually um, stitching around the final item, you may need to actually mark. Um, it's a standard sort of um, technique for leather. So now I have, so I have stitched my zipper in and I'm now going to top stitch along the edge. A little bit here to start. Put our foot down. Yeah. Okay. Get started, set everything up. I'm folding my um, seam allowance back under where my um, leather is to catch that all down together. And you can see there it just stitches through. So here I've got the two layers of leather and my um, zipper. Here's my little zipper tab out of the way. There we go. So then we've stitched our little zipper in there and the next thing we would do would be to um, bag this out and stitch around the outsides and then turn it in. Um, the instructions do have for a lined um, pouch so you would put your lining in as well um, to follow that but you could obviously decorate your pouch with whatever you wanted to on the front and even if you don't want to work with leather, you could use the same instructions and um, quilt up a little piece of fabric um, and um, make a little um, cute little pouch that you could give away as gifts. We're coming up into the Christmas season. You could get a few of these knocked out before then. Um, so that's a little bit on the, oh, we'll swap over. Yeah. <laughs> Hello again. Um, that's just a little bit on working with leather and um, different fabrics. So always, if you need advice about the right type of needle or the right type of foot for what you're doing, our Janome stockers do have a wealth of knowledge that they can help you. And if in doubt, take in a sample of what you want to sew, like the fabric and say to them, look, I want to sew this leather. Could you please help me out with the right thread, the right needle? needles, um, the right sort of foot that I might need. So if you are struggling that your what you're sewing is not working the way you want, go and um, pick their brains to find out exactly um, what are the best um, items that you can utilize to make your sewing, um, like take it up to the next level sort of thing and make it so much easier for you. Um, so thank you very much for joining us this month for Genomi Club. And I hope to see you next month.